Watch for our new Biker New England TV show featuring biker news, custom builders, painters, tattoo artists, biking, bands, and much more. To advertise, 774-289-5989. Limited advertising slots available. Hey, special person right here, the Road Poet. And he's got a, an awesome publication that everybody should read, whether you're a biker or not, because it's historic. It's Laconia Motorcycle Week from 1916, the beginning, the beginning, all the way up until the present time. This is historical stuff. Now, tell us all about this, this project and what, 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 what gets you going in it? Every year I write a different book. Now, if you can see over here, there's a crew of books. And last year I was coming back from Laconia Motorcycle Week, 2000, would have been 14, and I said, gee, what can I do? You know, what, what can I write? And I said, I'll write a book about Laconia Motorcycle Week. Laconia Motorcycle Week started in 1916 out of Boston. You know, and, and originally when I started asking around, they said, well, you'll never find out who they were. Yes, I know who they were. I know what kind of bikes they rode. I know what building they rode out of. And I, every day I find more interesting information, which is going to be in the next book, Laconia Motorcycle Week, 1916, Chasing the Road, where I'm going to follow the whole roads that I believe they took. Now, my whole thing has been to bring motorcycles to academia. I went through Harvard looking like this, and getting up on stage here in front of motorcyclists, reading poetry, showing them, no, it's alive, it's action, it's moving. This is what we need to do. You know, because who knows, there might be, there used to be a whole crew of us, what we call academic bikers. You know, we were all in different schools, we were all writing for different magazines, and that's really what it's about, is to bring our world to them, the people out there, because they need to hear this too. You know what I mean? And, I'm, and I'm, I'd love to congratulate you on your TV show. It's, I've been doing it for years, and you know, it's, it's really an honor that you chose to pick me. And thank you, folks. It's an honor to speak to you because you, you know your history, all right? There are a lot of people that I know of, um, I know people that have been involved in the uh, biker culture for many, many years, and, and I can't think of anybody off the top of my head that I know that knows anything about the history going back to 1916. You said something when you started about this started in Boston. I didn't know that. Right, it's the Bay State Motorcycle Club out of Boston, and for the new information I have, there was, in 1916, there were so many motorcycle sales the dealers didn't even have to like try to get, they just, they call up each other and say, hey, I got a guy down here and he needs a bike. You send him down. You know what I mean? So they formed the club, the dealers in Boston. There was like 12 of them. I'm going to have all the lists in my new book. And it was April 9th to be exact. With the first motorcycle week was Boston Motorcycle Week in 1916. So, this history I didn't know existed right there. Yeah, I mean, it, well, that's why you research. Believe me, it's not easy. Her, my editor, just left. Last book, you know, Chase, uh, not, the beginning, we went through at least 20,000 motorcycle magazine pages to, to find the information we wanted to. And what you end up with is it all boiled down. You know what I mean? They say the simplest re writing to read is usually the most complicated to write. You know, we put a lot of work into it, and she's a good, good editor. You know what I mean? And you know, they can find all my books on Amazon if they'd like to get the covers. We can't sell you anything, but if you'd like to look at the covers, in fact, you can even print one of my covers out for free. Awesome. Well, I, listen, I encourage everybody to buy this book. Get this book. Give us some information on on how did people find you. Well, I'm the road poet. You can find me on Facebook under Laconia Motorcycle Week 1916. You can find me at Amazon.com, you know, a.k.a., you know, like the Road Poet. You can find me on YouTube. I have Road Poet Studio and Road Poet's Cafe TV shows. And I just, and, I, and the thing to it, I'm going to, can I do a little plug in? The thing I love too, if you get a hold of me, you live anywhere near me, I would like you on my show. Awesome. I'm always, because it's all about, if you sing, dance, juggle pianos, you tap dance across the live wire, <laughs> you pogo stick man across the gutter in your house. Well, we want you on our show. Awesome. You know what I mean? I hope they're on your show too. <laughs> yes, you, you know what I mean? Like, you know, so. Thank you. Awesome. Well, listen, you heard the man, right? He knows what he's talking about. A lot of work goes into putting something into what looks to be only a few pages, and it is look about 100 pages or whatever, 
but a lot of time goes into it. So listen, do yourselves a favor and um, catch up on some history. We're talking with Erin right here. Erin, you can see she's beautiful, but that's not really what's important here. She's representing Bentleys. Now, if you don't know anything about Bentleys, you're missing out. So she's gonna tell us all about Bentleys and why you should go there in Arundel, Maine. Because if you like having fun, you should go to Bentley's in Arundel, Maine. It's a seven month long biker rally. We open April 15th and then it's seven days a week, right straight through Halloween. We have live music all weekend, every weekend. There's never a cover charge. There's a pig roast every Saturday, a car show every Tuesday, special theme parties going on all through the season. It really is a nonstop biker rally, like going into your best friend's backyard and sitting down and having fun and making friends. And we have a campground out back and a motel attached. So when you have more fun than you thought you might have, you can just stumble off into bed. Wow, she knows what she's talking about. Let me tell you something. Go to Bentley's. Again, Erin, how do they get to Bentley's? What's the contact information? The website, www.bentleyssaloon.com. Just make sure you put two S's for Bentley's Saloon. Watch for our new Biker New England TV show featuring Biker News, custom builders, painters, tattoo artists, biking, bands, and much more. To advertise, 774-289-5989. Limited advertising slots available.